Hey, yo, it's Brain Lord. Welcome back to Rome to do as the Skippy Eye. Remember last time we uh, besieged Carthage. And what else did we do? We uh, uh, we skirmished a little bit with Macedon, and we're planning on taking uh, Athens. We're sending over an army with advanced legionary cohorts. So that's all nice and peachy. As you can see, we took Thapsus as well. Uh, Broody I really aren't helping us too much, but we do have this guy coming over to take Athens. And then we'll probably leave the Macedonians alone alone unless they pose a significant threat but uh, they are war they are at war with the Brute and Thrace so they shouldn't be too focused on us in fact they should be happy that we won't want to attack them further even though our Senate mission is to take Larissa I don't really plan on taking it uh, we need to hit Pontus as soon as we can we need to hurt Pontus uh, yes they did land an army near Rhodes and if they siege attack that could be dangerous but uh, we'll see I'm gonna save it and end the turn and see what's going on. Mason Stone wants to talk. What you want to say, boy? Oh no, that's not a. That's an assassin. You you dolt. That is not a diplomat. But uh, we built a spy there. Built. It. I can tell it's already gonna be a good day. Uh, <laughs> we recruited a spy there. And yeah, we got a spy here watching over that city. Numidia is moving out with some troops to try to defend their capital. Not gonna work too well. Because uh, we're going to take it this turn. That's right. We're going to siege attack Carthage this turn. <laughs> uh, awesome Temple of Saturn built in Masana. We can go ahead and go for public baths. More happiness and growth is never a bad thing. Uh, Lillibau. Go ahead and build an arena for some more happiness. Sparta can go and build some roads. And yeah, pretty much it. That's the last building they have to build. And hopefully Sparta will soon grow to a large city. We will build some Kelly Arxilia there as well. Build some sewers around Kydonia for some growth and happiness. And Thapsus. Uh, built some stone walls, so that's good for them. And we can go ahead and build a large temple of Saturn. To keep the people happy. Building some early legionary cohorts there. Never a bad thing. Uh, the Romans have gone to war with Numidia, so that's exactly what we want. Uh, well, I mean, they're kind of forced to, but, you know, it helps us. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to drop them off here and then swing the Navy around. Uh, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Because how many, yeah, it won't take too long to get over there, I don't think, two turns maybe. And uh, even if we, if we, even if we siege attack Athens, you know, it'll, it'll still be good timing. And we have a Navy over there anyway. And I will continue the sabotage. Just to make sure that, uh, oh, shoot. And we lost another one. That seems to be the theme of assassins. Losing all of them. But that's okay. And now we got a spy in here def to defend against that assassin. That's fine. He's going only got a two. Actually, we're going to take out this cavalry zone. We're going to build a couple of assassins of our own. Uh, get some more assassins over here. Just because we... Not going to be fighting Mason, doesn't mean we can't harass them and make it easier for, like, the Broody. Yeah. You know, that's possible. We can help our allies out. And then when they launch attack on, like, Pergamum, we can bring over the assassins. Anyway, we're going to Siege Assault. Carthage here, they got some Desert Infantry. Desert Infantry are pretty decent spearmen. Uh, they got some nice upgrades, too. Numidian Javelin men are not that good. But they're pretty much their infantry of the line, which is interesting. Uh, yeah. Numidia gets Numidian Javelin men as their first level of infantry. It's very strange. And then they get archers at a large town level. The only advantage is that they get a plethora of ranged troops available early. Uh, other than that, Numidia really is not a good faction. In the long run, it's very tough. Uh, I don't really plan on playing Numidia ever, but uh, I may at some point. I don't know. I just don't find them to be appealing. I have to like the faction that I'm playing against. And I'd say we have a perfect anti-Numidian army. Lots of cavalry to take out all those ranged troops they have. And then some good heavy infantry to take out their, you know, spearmen. And uh, they didn't train any of their Numidian legionnaires here. They had a chance to, but uh, they didn't train any of those. I think it takes a large city to train them. And uh, they're they're okay. I wouldn't say they're good, but uh, they're okay. 
and I'll put one over there, one here, one here, and one there. And get up on the walls, take them, and then we'll rush in with some of our heavy, heavier legionnaires, our early legionnaire guards, and we'll destroy them. And make sure everybody's firing at will. Spread out these uh, legionaries at the at the front of the line. Early legionary cohorts definitely are way better than Hestati, so probably not going to be using Hestati for the actual battle. Take off skirmish mode on our range units just in case we feel like using them, but I probably won't. And let's get up on the walls. And let's see if they placed any units on the walls. Looks like they placed a unit of javelin men here. And they're getting peppered with our ballista fire from our siege tower, so that's very nice. I've already lost 10 men there. Very cool. That should help us out quite a bit. Look at that. See, siege towers are really powerful in this game. Uh, that's to counter the defensive ability of the walls themselves. And uh, they, here's their distant infantry garrisoning the city center. And their general unit is walking around the streets, it would appear. And it uh, looks like they're going to fire some javelins on us. Of course, that's kind of what they're for. And uh, they'll probably hurt some of our Hestati here, but uh, Hestati should be able to clean up these javelin men in melee combat, no problem. Especially with uh, fire from the siege tower itself. So I'm not too worried about it at all. No, I'm not. And then the other siege towers will get in range and uh, we'll get our guys up. And then we'll probably send in our early legionary cohorts and our general. That's probably what we're going to do. Because they only have two units of desert infantry in there, so it's not really that threatening. Take it out with uh, early legionaries pretty easily. Although it is a very hard battle, but uh, we got plenty of reinforcements in that case, so not too worried about it. Not too worried at all, madam. Madam? I can't even think of something to back it up with. And I think all of our siege towers are at the walls, so that is good. They'll get up and they will kill the Numidians. That took the Carthaginian city in a couple turns ago. And we will kiss him now. Yar! And uh, I'm gonna take a drink. I'll be right back. Yummy, yummy, drinking my time. What are you. What are these guys doing? Hey! Stop it. Get up here. There we go. They're doing it again. Hey! Stop. Do it correctly. Uh, anyway, our Hestati here are coming off the walls, and they broke the unit immediately, so they're just gonna spend a little time taking them down. And they're taking casualties for some reason. They're javelin men. You got plus three. You got plus two attack, plus three armor, and an experience upgrade. You shouldn't be taking damage from these guys. Come on. Pitiful. Whatever. Uh. Everything else is looking pretty good. They got some of the units up. This, this unit just sucked. Lots of, uh. Monkey nuts, I don't know. First, we'll take this unit over here to capture this tower, and then we'll send them around the back way to capture all the towers that we can. And uh, same with this guy. Actually, this guy doesn't need to capture that first tower. He can just go straight back. There we go. Capturing some of the towers. Always nice. And then when uh, we clean up those javelin men, we'll take that tower, and then we'll go back and take the gatehouse. And this guy can, this unit can go all the way back and capture stuff. That'll be helpful for him. So let's do it. There we go. I was worried he might not be able to move correctly, but uh, I think it's going, so that's fine. And it looks like they clean up those javelin men with uh, a little bit of casualties. Not too bad, I guess, but more than I would expect. But I guess it is very hard mode again, so I don't know. You always take a lot of casualties doing everything. And I'll move the study over here, take the gatehouse, and then we'll move in with our little tactical team of legionary cohorts, early legionaries in general. Move them in there. I guess they're not going to move until the gatehouse is captured. That's fine. Now you can move. There we go. And uh, early Asian cars look pretty cool in my opinion. 
They got swagger. They got swagger. And uh, they got the business. She just camping in the middle. Campers. And uh, this is the size of a huge city in this game. It doesn't seem that huge, but uh, I guess there's really no point in making it ridiculously big. Uh, like in Medieval 2, the huge cities are really big. Uh, we might see that at some point in the LP, but uh, speaking of which, yeah, I'm not stopping that LP. I'm just, you know, I just haven't felt like recording it. So if I don't feel like recording something, I'll record the other thing. That's kind of how I'm going to go between these two. So, Plus, Skippy ILP is going to be much, much longer. So I'm going to need to, you know, pour out more of these episodes. And, uh, yeah. And then when I feel like it, I can do another Egyptian Chronicle. But, uh, I don't know, I'm not feeling it right now. And I don't have the, haven't gotten that far, much farther in the Egyptian campaign. Some of you have been asking for uh, battles. And uh, that is a good idea, but I and I would like to do it, but then then it becomes like another LP almost. Like I have to put a little too much effort into it. The point of the Chronicle videos is just something little, real quick that I can do, uh, take 20 minutes out of my day, and you know talk about what's going on in a project that I work on, or like a campaign that I'm playing occasionally. You know, uh, unlike you know like a LP where you show everything and have to think about what you're doing plan accordingly you know uh so sorry to you guys that really want battles in the chronicle probably not going to happen unless uh at some point i can end it on a battle and then we can start a video with having a battle and then i can do a chronicle at some point that might happen but uh otherwise we're probably not gonna see many battles if any i know it's disappointing but uh there we go. Okay, now we're into the field of battle. They're charging us hastily here. Our legionary cohorts are going to engage. Oh, they're going to get the drop on us a little bit, but uh, we should be able to take them out. Uh, hopefully. Surrounding them quite a bit there. Very nice. And look at that. A little bit of numbers cutting them down pretty well. Very good. Epic melee combat. Uh, looks like a second unit came in and kind of blitzkrieged our uh, flank there, so this unit's getting hammered pretty hard. Let's pull around our general and smash him in the back a little bit. Okay, why are you? Okay, I guess you want to go this way, dude. He really wants to go. Okay, come, if you're gonna go this way, go this way. Don't. Okay, Asinius, come on, come on, Asinius. And we'll hit the the back of this unit here. Take him down. Of course, the units can't route in the town center, so I'm not going to be able to route them, but uh, the goal here is to just hurt them quite a bit. And uh, holy cow, they are just not being responsive today at all. Although that is typical of city assaults and stuff. And I'll charge right in the back here. La bouge! La bouge! Oh, wash! Wouge! Bouge! Is it bouge? Bouge! Boom! 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 This infantry should be dying very quickly here. Smushing him in. Uh, I don't like Asinius' placement there. He's kind of... He's fighting a few desert infantry by himself, so I don't want that. And uh, there we go. Took out their general. And uh, their general is fight coming after us, which is interesting. La 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 69. And uh, they're going to throw some javelins, it looks like. Uh, we didn't quite finish out this unit, so we'll do that first, and then we'll go help our general. The last Numidians here. In this unit, that is. And uh, they have actually done pretty good number on our early legionary cohorts. was not expecting them to do this much damage, but uh, we have it under control. Got one of the unit down. And uh, if they if they are willing, they'll launch some Pila. And we can get some extra... There we go. Get a little bit of Pila off. And uh, hurt that unit a little more. And uh, they're celebrating for some reason. Let's not celebrate. Let's go attack the Numidians. We're not quite done yet, guys. Come on. You and your sexy helmets. 
This almost just looks so cool. I don't, I don't know. I'm pretty sure that I, I think they are uh, Aquinciums or Gallic Aquinciums or something. I feel like that's what they called. And then the like the helmets that the Stadi are wearing are called like italics, I think. I don't know. And it'll throw a little more Pila at them, get a little extra damage. Look at that. Pila is just so devastating. Uh, especially on post Marion units, because Pila, their Pila attack is just ridiculously high, and then the, it's armor piercing, so. Ugh. Ugh! Just ridiculous. Ridiculously overpowered. But that's why the Romans are so good. Uh, the Spanish, you know, they have uh, Pila as well. Although I don't think it's called Pila, but they, they do similar things. And those are pretty deadly too. Numidian Javelin, or Numidian. Legionnaires have that. Uh, Seleucid Legionnaires, Armenian Legionnaires, they all have the ability to throw Pila, but uh, it's really not quite as effective with them because uh, Roman troops are definitely better. And uh, just a couple more Numidians here to crush, and we should be able to take the city of Carthage. And uh, we should, I think we were able to train uh, Legionary cohorts here, uh, so that's very nice. Very powerful indeed. There we go, taking them out. And there we go. Clear victory. Very nice. Four hundred kills. They killed about two hundred. Uh, not too bad, I guess. For taking a huge city, I suppose it's it's pretty good. Pretty good. Proper outs of general judgment and prudence, yes. And uh, we'll take Carthage. And I think this is like the second time in five turns that we're gonna exterminate. Carthage has been hit hard. Uh, we could get an urban barracks, but uh, we don't really need that right yet. Uh, we will need that in about, I'd say maybe 30, 30 years. We'll need to start getting urban barracks uh, to stay competitive. But for the time being, legionary and early legionary cohorts are definitely good enough to handle our enemies. And I'll, we'll queue up a unit of legionary cavalry as well. We can start getting some of that going. We don't really need that much heavy infantry to fight in Midia, so... Cavalry is a little more important, getting some good cavalry to fight them off is very important. And, uh, you know, we'll keep the boats here and then we'll ferry an army over. That'll be a little quicker than uh, by foot. Plus, there'll be less battles that way as well. Let's check out what's going on with the Senate here. The Senate, they don't really want us to fight Mesa or Numidia, and they really want us to fight Carthage. Uh, we are ahead still with the Senate rating. And we're tied with the people reigning. That's fine. And uh, everything else is looking pretty good. Uh, looks like looks like the Gauls are going to launch a counter strike on Medialanium. So we'll position our army to help defend. Hopefully the Julia have some kind of counter to this because uh, you know that's kind of a large army with a very powerful commander. They should probably try to deal with it. I think everything's looking pretty good, don't you guys? I do. And uh, Assassin. already assassinated, so let's end the turn. And Broody Eye moving over. Macedon wants a ceasefire. Uh, if you give us Athens, we'll, we'll take a ceasefire. I'll, I'll say it. Mm. Ooh. Now, see, that's tempting, but it'd be... A, <laughs> instead of paying 150000 I could just take it, you know, so it's, it's not hard. Not 150, like, what is it, 15,000 they wanted? I could just take it, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh! Juliana Scipio, which means Secondus Lollius is in command of Capua now. And he's a pretty good guy. He's uh, definitely learned under Juliana, so that's good. I was worried Capua might be a little unhappy, but it seemed to be quite good. And uh, Publius, Publius Scipio is now the faction leader. I believe he's in our capital. Ceasefire in effect. Recruitment report. Uh, Capua's finished scriptorium, which will definitely help. Secondus, lol. Get some more traits. Build Dumbled Saturn just in case. Make sure the happiness is up. Corinth, we can build farms. A little more growth. You know, we don't really need more military units. Carthage can go ahead and build the second level Temple of Saturn. And we can retrain the boats. And uh, we're still training that legionary cavalry, so... 
It's kind of unfortunate that none of the Roman heavy cavalry is able to train in one turn because that's kind of a very breaking factor. But, uh, you know, historically Romans don't really have that good a cav, so it does, it does make sense. So Roman, we're going to be using Roman cavalry most of the game, most of the rest of the game. Uh, we'll use some heavy cavalry when we can afford to take an extra turn, you know, extra turns to train. But normally we'll just be using legionary cohorts and Roman cavalry, uh, archer auxilia. That's going to be our main fighting force. And uh, it looks like Blue Turks moved back. Oh, because the Broody are coming over. Looks like the Broody are going to take a shot at Batavium. Very interesting. They should be taking shots at Macedon because uh, otherwise Thrace might take them out. And then Thrace become a really dominant fashion if they're not careful. And uh, we'll move up some units here. A couple very experienced units there. And uh, we'll move this unit back down. And we got three more. So we'll take three units of or legionaries actually hold on let's put one of these back yeah yeah I want the Roman cavalry so we're gonna take that back put some more cavalry we don't really have that much cavalry We've got plenty of legionaries in this army so not too worried about that and uh, we'll go siege Athens uh, we can try to assess oh with 95% chance very nice very good and he's got four subterfuge so that's nice anything above like two or three is pretty good and uh, bring our spy up here spy on them bring our assassin up here as well oh, we can try to assassinate the spy probably not gonna work and nope okay you didn't lose any subterfuge I don't know if you can get down to zero subterfuge or not but uh, if you can I'm pretty sure you probably won't be able to hit anything and uh, we'll see Jathens here I don't think I'm going to siege attack. Oh, they got a big navy. Or they got a big army on this navy. Better take that out real quick. Yes! We sunk the ship. Sunk a Macedonian navy. Finally. And that was the navy that was bought. All right. That was the navy that was at Rhodes. So very good. Very good job. So now Rhodes is safe. Uh, we can ferry over some guys on Rhodes. And uh, that'll be all good. They still have those peasants in there, but, uh, you know, I don't think we really need to siege assault. Uh, plus, if Macedonia tries to break the siege, which they should, because they have some armies, um, then we'll be able to fight the Macedonians in a pretty cool battle. So That sounds like a good idea, doesn't it, guys? You like cool battles? I like cool battles, too. And it uh, looks like the Julia are really focusing on taking out the Gauls' western provinces first, which isn't a bad idea, I suppose, but... Uh, Patavium is one of the better cities on the map, so I would try to take that if I were them. And uh, we could push for Patavium if we want to, but that's kind of silly. Why would we do that? We'll have to take it eventually, but, uh, you know, we got other areas to push into. Anyway, we're going to end the turn, and see what's going on. Oh, don't blockade the port. Come on, you... You nut fail? I don't know. My insults are usually lacking. Uh, Numidia is going to siege Thapsus with a very small force. Probably not good. We'll probably have to sally forth. This guy's not bad, but he's old. And I doubt Salonin uh, is really that old. So, pedophiles not encouraged in uh, the Scipii lands. Captain Yuptan. Yutpan. Yutpan has sieged us. Probably sally forth. They don't really have much threatening there. It looks like they're sending a reinforcement army as well. So if we can take that out, we can, you know, take it out and then attack the reinforcement army if need be. Syracuse can go ahead and get an, a catapult range, get some siege equipment at some point would be very nice. Uh, that'll allow us to roll over some more fortified locations. I'll build some Praetorian cohorts as well, just because we, you know, they're not, we're not really training anything there. We can pretty much keep training permanently from Syracuse. It probably wouldn't be a bad idea. And uh, build some stuff there. Academy in Kaidonia. Not a bad idea. And we'll get our ships to clear up this mess. Here, Captain Admiral Gaius getting... Or Gyrus getting killed. Humanes. Done. Uh, I don't even want to try to say that name. <laughs> it's like Cl 
Taxeros or something. I don't know. And uh, we'll take some of the troops from Rhodes since we don't need them anymore, and we'll deposit them on the ship, ferry them over, and that'll allow us to quickly, uh, quickly move out from Athens when we take it, or we can attack Larissa or something if they start to get a little feisty. Take out this navy as well. As we move over, we're dominating the Macedonians on the waters. Captain Gaius are attacking you again, our admiral, and are taking you down. So things on the sea are looking very good for us. Can't complain at all. And we'll move our Smy over. Smy. Move our Smy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Move him over a little bit. And uh, this guy's got four versus four. We ha have a shot. Yes! We got him. 30% chance. And uh, he's got another subterfuge for that. So very nice. This guy could be a very good assassin for us. And uh, usually about five or six, I like to try assassinating family members. And uh, he was killed trying to kill that, kill that Smy, unfortunately. Uh... We'll go ahead and build a couple more assassins. Why not? Subterfuge is very important. Uh, it makes things a lot easier as the Romans, basically. Using a lot of subterfuge. And uh, playing a long game like I plan to, you know, subterfuge is definitely very important. Get things done quicker. Although training subterfuge and moving them around takes a little longer. And speaking of which, I forgot to move out the subterfuge from... Move out our agents from Masana. So we're going to uh, build some, build a little mini navy and send them over somewhere. Not exactly sure. And mission success. Britannia and Germania are at war. Uh, that could be interesting. Although I think Germania is quite large, so they could probably handle invasions from Britannia all day long. It looks like uh, Decius the Brave here is going to try to push out. So we'll see what happens there. We'll accompany him a little bit. And. Who shall die this day? Yes, master. Move this spy over here next to Larissa. They got some Macedonian Cav. They can train the Macedonian Cav. Uh, not much else really going on there. Thessalonica. Looking pretty good. Hippostratus. Armor. Large Temple of. Artemis. See, see, I don't really like the Temple of, of Artemis because uh, they give plus one missile per level, and then, you know, after three levels, you don't get a bonus, really, from it anymore. It's like, oh, you know. I think you get extra happiness after that point, but just build a happiness temple. Plus, you know, because you can get plus two from, like, a foundry, so you don't really need to have stuff like that. I don't know. It's just silly to me. Uh, we're going to push that back, back that Numidian army. Uh, we do not have a mercenary captain. We can try to get one. Come on! Oh, shoot. And uh, we'll, build another, we'll build a legionary cohort, and then we'll probably move out with Asinius here to go attack Serta. And uh, over down here in Thapsus, we can uh, sally forth. Because I really doubt they have anything. Yeah, not too bad. So we'll sally forth, attack them, take them out. You know. A little new Midian battle here, and uh, I think I think by the end of this campaign we're gonna actually have more battles with Numidians than we did with Carthage, because uh, we had a fight at Lilybaum, a fight for Carlos, and uh, they didn't even fight for Thapsus, so we've only we've only had a couple battles with uh, Carthaginians, to be honest. So that's kind of kind of shameful for the Carthaginians. Didn't really put up much of a fight this LP. Uh, sometimes sometimes they're really good though. Like, sometimes they take all of Africa, and they can actually push out in Spain, and uh, they become a really, really powerful threat. But, uh, not this time. And, uh, fire at will on our legionaries, and then we'll move out all our infantry in a line. Our archer auxiliary can fire from here. Well, they're not going to do too good firing from right behind a wall, but interesting. Anyway, we're going to... Put them in loose formation, get them behind our legionaries there. Put Recrutes right behind. And get everyone to run because we want to get through the gate a little faster. And uh, when there's a lot of units closer to like that, it tends to slow down your game a little bit. Uh, especially on time 6 speed. So it should clear up a little bit as more of them get through the gate. There we go. Now it looks smooth. And uh, a couple guys still getting through. 
kind of wait for him. I'll... Sometimes units just suck at... The pathfinding in this game is pretty bad. Let's just be honest. You know, these archers are dancing around doing the ceremonial dance of the arrow. Oh, just la 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 arrow dance. And, uh, I'll move out there. There we go. And, uh... There's really guys behind the walls, really? Really? Really, unit? Are you that dumb? Let's move it, come on. Let's reorganize, get through the gate. I told you to run, this is not running, this is slow as balls. <sighs> Even simple battles can be made difficult through the pathfinding in Realm of the War. Uh, but I still love Realm of the War, so I'm not gonna diss it just because it has bad pathfinding. And uh, I'm not sure why the road is broken up right before the city, that's kinda weird. But, uh, it's a thing, I guess. And we'll move towards this army here. They have a couple units of archers. We have a unit of cavalry. They do not. So we can skirmish with them. And I think we have superior archers. Plus, our infantry has quite high defenses. So we should be able to take archer fire. Okay. I guess our Astati probably won't be able to take them well. But uh, our town spearmen and uh, our legionaries should be able to take it pretty well. And uh, I probably won't be training too many town spearmen. I mean, I'll, I'll do it eventually. They're mostly going to be garrison troops. But, uh, you know, I don't really... My weapon against cavalry is cavalry, usually. I like to fight cavalry with cavalry. So spearmen aren't really necessary for me. And now I'm just kind of waiting. Okay, Archie, I exactly can't fire from there. So we'll move up a little bit. All right, there looks good. And we'll see if they can fire. And if they can't, we'll move a little farther forward. And if they can, we'll uh, start skirmishing them. And they can. Okay, good. So they're going to start firing at the enemy. They're probably going to start firing at us as well. Uh, they're hitting our, our legionaries, killing a few of them. We're going to engage with our Ecotes. And we're going to skirmish their archers while our archers are firing. Probably the best course of action, I would imagine. And holy cow, they're definitely hammering that one unit. Uh, I guess not too bad. It's only lost 15, but... At this rate, they'll lose quite a few. And we should be able to hit this unit right there and break it, hopefully. Uh, they're charging in their other archers to attack us. That's smart. And uh, even though these are Ecotes, they should be able to break... Yep, okay, good. Uh, I'd much rather have Roman Cavalry than Ecotes, but, you know... You got Echo Taste, might as well use the best of them. Take out these archers, and then uh, try to take out some of these other archers as well. They have Numidian Javelmen as well. And meanwhile, while their archers aren't firing, our archers are, and we're getting an advantage in that department. Plus, our, you know, our melee infantry can definitely hold the line and defeat them if necessary. And uh, oh, they're kind of clashing with the enemy spearmen there. Probably not good. Not good. Not a good situation to be in. And holy cow, what the heck? We just lost like seven horses, two archers. I guess if they're firing range units, range at us. Uh, so we killed most of their archers there. I think now it's time to move up the infantry line. Not the archers, the infantry. And engage. So we'll do that. And uh, they're sending in the Nermidian javelmen to attack our cavalry. That is smart. Uh, javelin guys versus cavalry is always a good battle. Not. And <laughs> they routed right away, so. Point, case of point. Looks like they're going to move farther up the hill, perhaps. Or perhaps they're retreating, I can't tell. We'll see in a sec. Yeah, it looks like they're retreating, so. Battle's pretty much over, and we're not going to really fight. Not going to chase them down with our legionaries, there's no point. And uh, since they're spearmen, our Ecotase aren't going to be really able to do much against them. And we're getting friendly fire from our Archer Exila, that's kind of annoying. A couple more friendly fire. Try to hit these archers here uh, without getting the desert infantry involved. Uh, okay, retreat. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, what? You're going to rout? Darn right shame will be his forever. Wow. Well, that's kind of disappointing. You lost two horses and then you decided to retreat. Nice, yeah. And that's why you don't lead captain armies against, you know on attack usually so clear victory we killed some of them killed their range units and uh push them back so they'll probably link up with that uh general 
and try to take us down. Uh, we'll retrain and uh, actually I'm gonna build a unit of Roman cav because I need we need some more cavalry. Need a more balanced force to fight Numidians. Uh, just infantry isn't really good at fighting Numidians. If you have an army of all all infantry, Numidians are very very hard to fight because they have a lot of range units. And uh, 91% to kill a captain already. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And uh, I think I already told the story about the 110 subterfuge uh, assassin that I had. He was he was ridiculous. You just he was just slaughtering family members left and right. You're just killing Greeks and Gauls. He's just like, blah, 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 blah. and then eventually he died of old age, of course. But uh, he served his country well. So that's all I can really ask him. Anyway, we're gonna save it, and I think we're going to end it here. In the turn, that is not in the episode yet. Still feel like playing a little more on this little episode before I need a break. And I uh, keep turning. My mic keeps turning of late. I think the stand is definitely broken on this. And whoa! <laughs> uh, that sounded very weird to me, but uh, probably sound different to you. Anyway, they're f holy cow! They're faction leader with six experience is going to attack us. Uh, we want him to siege assault because if we attack him, his guys won't route and our guys will route really easily. Uh, so sailing forth is probably not the best idea. So we will. And we don't want to lose Thapsus. Awesome. Time to build some more buildings. Uh, Amphitheater is always good for stuff. Uh, Thapsus can go ahead and build a temple to Saturn. Carthage can go build a uh, large temple to Saturn. And some more legionary cores and legionary cavalry just to garrison. Why not? And uh, the garrison looks pretty good. We'll take that other legionary cohort, or was it, yeah, it was the only legionary cohort, and uh, we'll move out with our navy, next turn we'll deposit there, and then we'll probably take another turn to actually siege Serta, so, glitch spy, uh, let's see, they got a lot of desert infantry, so not really anything too threatening, I'd be a little more worried if they had, you know, maybe Numidian legionaries or something, but they don't. Because I think it's only a city, and I think I do think it's a large city that they need to train them. Which, uh, Numidian legionaries are pretty much equal, or close to equal to uh, early legionary cohorts, so they're not that good compared to Romans. Uh, but the Seleucids do get the best Roman copies, and uh, he just killed a uh, spy, I think. Very nice. Uh, the Seleucids do get the best Roman copies. Their silver shield legionaries are equal in all stats. To a very nice. This guy killed a, an enemy assassin, so we're taking out the Macedonian agents. As I was saying, uh, the Solar Shield Legionnaires are equal to Legionary cohorts, so that's actually pretty powerful. So the Seleucids have that kind of advantage, but you never, you never see them with Silver Shield Legionnaires because the Seleucids never survive until that point. The Seleucids always die really early. <laughs> kind of depressing, but uh, whatever. Go continue to sabotage Lorissa now, because Athens is under siege. We can't sabotage while they're under siege, and we wouldn't want to because we're gonna take sa Athens and uh, sabotaging would be a little silly. Anyway, we're gonna move this guy over, uh, this uh, diplomat, and we're going to we'll take it. We'll transfer him. What? I didn't mean to click the map. Anyway, we're gonna take him over and we're gonna break our alliance with uh, the Pontix. Oops. Holy cow, I didn't have that many guys in the boat, did I? Did I have some guys in the boat that I forgot about? Wow, I must look really dumb. Uh, you guys are probably yelling at me like, Dude, drop the guys off. What do you, you got like 6,000 guys in the boat. What are you doing? I guess that was the guys from Kydonia? Huh. Well, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, next turn we'll have to bring those guys back because we don't really want to attack Pontus yet. Especially with only a captain. Uh, but uh, anyway, we're going to move our diplomat. We're going to uh, try to... We're going to break our alliance with the Pontus, and we're going to try to get an alliance with Egypt. And, uh, what are you doing? Julia are going to try to take uh, their capital with only that much force. Now, over here is interesting. It looks pretty even. We'll, we'll help them out. They got siege equipment, and they got Decius the Brave, and, uh, holy cow, they got a lot of good commanders, the Gauls do. So, very threatening, indeed. 
and everything else is looking pretty peachy so we're gonna save it and yeah end the turn there we go and Gauls want to get a ceasefire no I'm gonna say predicted and uh, ooh Desius the Brave here. He's got two gold chevrons, so he's pretty good himself. Uh, but Lugatrix the Brave has, I believe, three. He's got quite a bit of siege equipment. Uh, I think we have a shot here. Even though it says we're about to, we're going to lose. I think if we can kill Lugatrix's army, which is very well experienced, definitely. Uh, you know, we have a shot at killing the in reinforcement army. And uh, my guys are useless in this battle, because uh, the Julia units all have like silver chevrons the galic units all have like silver and gold chevrons and my guys don't even have like any bronze chevrons so i'm <laughs> i'm basically useless in this battle plus i'm on very hard battle difficulty so the penalty there is ridiculous uh i'm glad i'm not fighting these guys I, i'm glad i don't have to fight these guys what's this shed our blood today to aid our Roman friends, the Julii. They would do the same for us in like circumstances. So let your battle cry put fear into the enemy's guts. Call out to them and be brave. Call to the heavens and let strength and honor be your watchwords today. That's about it. Okay, pretty average speech. Uh, we'll probably just end up. Well, we'll order a withdrawal on our guys. Actually, we'll have our cavalry fight. I might as well. But <laughs> it's kind of funny just to see them walk in and they're just like ah ah. And we'll move our cavalry out. Maybe our cavalry can do something good. And uh, here comes our general. Just do 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 do. Uh, hey guys, let's go back. Ah! <laughs> Uh, good. And, uh, we're gonna move up our light cavalry. Like I said, we'll be able to help them out maybe a little bit. And the advantage the Julia I do have is that they have all this artillery that they can use. They got three ballistas and, uh, a unit of onagers, so they definitely have an advantage with range attacking. It looks like they're going to engage the first army here. They're gonna rush forward. I don't know why they're rushing forward. Uh, to use their advantage, they need to conserve their men, but that's fine. And uh, Lugatrix here is very powerful. He's the faction leader as well as lots of gold chevrons. Decius does not, is not the faction leader, so his garrison, or his bodyguard isn't that heavy, unfortunately. And it looks like Lugatrix is just going to lead the charge with a unit of uh, barbarian mercenaries. It looks like we're going to engage this unit of uh, barbarian cavalry here. And our guys should be able to help a little bit. Maybe. Hopefully. And, uh, uh, you might want to turn off your catapults, guy, because they're not going to be too helpful. They're going to do equal casualties to both you and foe, friend and foe alike, I guess is what I'm trying to say. And, uh, these guys are not routing for the life of them. It's all those experience upgrades. I believe experience upgrades add morale as well. Oh, you hit your own Sam Knights, man. And, uh, Dusty is coming, inserting himself in here. Uh, the battle looks pretty even in the middle. Let's see who wins. It'll be interesting. And uh, Equites are going to defeat the enemy barbarian mercenaries there, it looks like. And uh, these guys are just holding out forever. We got one last guy here to kill. And uh, he just killed one of our guys. We're down to two cavalry. And uh, they do have eight experience, yeah, so that, that would explain. Uh, if you didn't know, you could pause and double click on a unit to open its unit card. It'll tell you how much experience, their attack and defense upgrades. Uh, so you can you can check to see what unit's what unit. And uh, oh, nice charge, rear charge from the Equites there broke those barbarian mercenaries. So that'll give them a little advantage in the middle. They should be able to kill the kill Lugatrix, hopefully. And we're gonna charge into these guys, and our army's gonna route. Yep. And uh, looks like they're going to defeat Lugatrix here, but I think not in enough time. And uh, Desi's here is going to get hit in the back by Lugatrix. 
So Desius might lose, actually, without killing Ludicrix. Uh, he kind of needs to... Okay, the, if he can get those guys... Get those units over here, guy! Get those units over here! Come on! What are you doing? And yeah, no, it looks like the... Oh! Oh, that is horrible luck for the Gauls there. Uh, they charged in, and uh, their faction here just got killed by a random bad luck. So that's unfortunate. And if they can kill, if, if uh, Desius can kill Julius here, or if uh, Desius can kill Lugatrix here, then, you know, they've killed their faction leader and their faction heir. Even though I believe the Julia are going to lose this battle, um, they'll win in that regard, in my opinion. Because uh, next time they assault, they won't have to deal with any family members, I don't think. It's a very even battle here, but I believe, there you go, Lugatrix is down. So, uh, Decius is still alive, Lugatrix and, uh, whoever the other guy was are dead. Although, the, it looks like the Julia are ordering a retreat as well. Uh, so that's kind of smart, they're going to conserve some of their troops. And Odysseus is going to try to get out of here with his life. He's got to be very careful with this bodyguard unit, though. It's got still got, like, 50 or so. Oh, get out, get out of there, Decius, Decius, get out of there! Decius the brave, get out of there! I know you're brave, but you're not stupid, I hope. Oh, he's going to die. He did. Oh, here comes some. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of. Yeah, he's dead. Oh. <sighs> Dang. But, uh. We did kill the Gallic king and prince. So, I mean, it's not like a big, huge loss. And, uh, they still have their, sec their secondary commander still alive. If he can stay alive, I guess. Uh, he's routing, but he's still alive. So, that's fine. Yeah, stay alive, stay alive! Yes. Okay, so they came out of it with more commanders. And he was, he had some pretty good experience upgrades too, I believe. And uh, we killed two guys. Killed two. I guess it's not too bad. Ha! <laughs> not too bad, I get it. Uh, they didn't go too well for the Julia, but uh, they should be able to get some more men in there and clean them up, I would imagine. So not too bad for them. It looks like Thrace has some large forces they're going to attack with. Uh, we'll take this guy, even though he does have Drill Master. The trait, we definitely need some more commanders. If we can. And we'll take our diplomat out here. The Senate wants us to leave Ionia here. Uh, because... Unless you have military rights, they, they do not like it when you land armies on... Or move armies through allied land. They do not like that at all. And uh, I'm, I've never actually tried to fail a mission and see what happens. Uh, I might do that eventually, though. That might be a fun thing to see what happens. Because uh, there might be a point at which I want to piss off the Senate. That that might be a possibility. I will inform them that we have canceled our alliance, so we're not allied, not allied with them anymore. And uh, they're still holding side on, so that's good. And we'll see if we... Yes! Okay, we got an alliance with... Uh, Egypt, so we switched alliances there. That'll be nice. And uh, that, that'll kind of tip off Pontus on what we're doing, but that'll keep our honor high, you know. That'll, that'll increase our uh, honorability. I don't know if that really even matters, but uh, to me it just feels like the right thing to do. And then, you know, we have a Casas Belli as well, because we're allies with Egypt, so Casas Belli to attack Pontus because they're at war, and Pontus has, you know, ravaged their lands. Uh, so definitely cost us billion and we can't quite reach unfortunately But next turn we'll be able to attack Serta Blockade the port and uh, they don't have much they should probably bring this guy back honestly if they're smart But uh, They're probably gonna siege attack and lose and then Serta will be ours and we'll continue to move across the coast Probably take their other coastal city and then we'll move inward and finish them off And I uh, will move all these agents onto the boat And we'll build another boat and then we'll send them out next turn and Capio is losing uh, population. That's okay, I guess. Uh, we'll, we'll have to build some farms after that's complete. Probably because uh, he had the other guy had some growth. Month. And holy cow, Germania is sieging Patavium. Julia, you need to get in there and stop that. You want Patavium, don't you? And somehow they're still alive at Alicia. I don't know. Anyway, that's about all we're going to do today. This is a little longer episode. But uh, that's all we're going to do today. And hopefully next time we will launch attack on Pergamum. Take it. Beat it down to the ground. And uh, take Athens as well. 
and yeah move forward against the Numidians and everything else that's good see ya